All right, guys. Let me explain. We have a situation. Hazma does not like Linkin Park. That's not. Okay, okay, okay. Hazma. Get roasted in the I know. You can I know. Because you guys, <laughs> feel free to roast him one. But two, I gotta tell you the truth. Hazma does not necessarily like Mike Shinoda. Yes, that's okay. that's the truth. The rest of the band. It's all right. It's okay. The right? band is all right. Chester, great singer. Thank great you. Great singer. There is like, not no one. In yeah. No like, one will ever like be I, able I, to replace. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on my knees. Great singer, yes. Yes. I just don't like the vibe that Mike Shinoda puts in the world. So we're here today to change Hazma's mind, and to do that, we're gonna go into a lyric video, followed by a live version of the same song. This song is the first song of the first record that came out in 2000 and. One, I, I, love I believe. Song. I love this song. And these guys, like, imagine these guys were like 23, 23, 22, 24 max. And they had a dream, you know, in LA. They were just like, let's freaking do it. And Chester was not part of the band. I mean, I'm sure that Linkin Park fans know that, but Chester was not part of the band at the beginning. He auditioned for the band and he moved to LA to audition. And whoever was next at the audition, the famous audition, was like, if you guys don't pick this guy, you are out of your freaking mind. The next so person that was supposed to audition. No, 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 there's Chester in this song. I was just giving like a little, okay. a little history behind. But anyway, um, what I'm looking for to this song, I'm just trying to give you a little background. Like these guys are in their early twenties. Their lyrics are really clever, in my opinion. Link, I really like Linkin Park. I really like the fact that they're just like they came out when this genre was hot and they put their own twist to it like it or not i'm a big linkin park fan i'm a big chester fan i think chester is absolutely irreplaceable and i was incredibly broken when you know we found out what happened and i was really sad and every time i listen to linkin park and i watch live videos and I, I i i get emotional because it's such a freaking incredible guy incredible band such a great talent a one-of-a-kind voice it's just like you're still talking about chester though i am yes no but the band together it's just like no, the band together is, is a great band it I'm is just, i'm just uh i just want you to you know i like, want to see where you're changing my mind people change so i want you to understand I, that these are talented people they definitely are anyway we'll get into the song first we take a look at these lyrics. It's a quick song, and then we go to the live version. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. In my opinion, this is Linkin Park best album. Absolutely. I mean, this song is obviously a banger. This, <laughs> it is. This album, uh, album you, is great. You can't find a bad song from this album. No, like, I, I agree. This album, the first is just two a singles were mind blowing. Was this and uh, was the end? Paper cut? No, one step closer. No, no. One step. One yeah. step closer is insane. crawling. Crawling. I mean, this. Uh, like in I the said, end is not. I'm not a. I think it's the least. I mean, in the end was. I think they made in the end with with the purpose to yeah, make it to, like to, a freaking blow up blow yeah. up but I, and it I, I worked like those they're like more like you know like they're more like sincere to me right although these lyrics are really cool i feel like they're very 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 clever the you know like you have to consider they're like 22 23 you know like i feel like it's so interesting yeah you know how they put this together you know i don't know from a music standpoint i find it very cool you know the, the the lyrics and the message and 
you know, there's also like a lot a common denominator uh, with the message in every song. Uh, there's a lot of like, I'm not feeling good, and I want to yeah, tell yeah. you about totally. how I feel. And every song is, you know, and that's uh, I have a, I have a theory, mm. and a lot of this these bands from that era, their first album is always so pure and so great. Absolutely. All of those bands. Mm-hmm. And then they get so big and they start making shit ton of money with that album. Yeah. And their songs, I think that they, you feel that now there's a little less pain or a different pain. Right. And they're, and they're adjusting. But you also have to consider, yes, that is very true. But you also have to consider that when this type of album is published, you have nothing but anger totally. and freaking totally. you just want to make it happen for yourself yeah. for your, your you're, dream you're, like you have your, you're pursuing you're your dream you're angry. so hungry yeah. and angry and like you go for it and you go for it and you put out albums like this and you just don't realize that you just freaking put out a freaking masterpiece yeah, totally, totally. that's gonna you know like be here forever a lot of a lot of like you know i I think a lot, a lot of the band from that era, it, the first album was Absolutely. mind-blowing. And then, Absolutely. you know, they're still good in the second, the third. No, for stuff, sure, but, for sure. But the first one, you have like that, that like... That raw. Know, yeah, super raw. Yeah. They're like, probably like, you know, probably the industry back then was like, you know, like probably it, it changed you a little, you know, seeing how the things were. Absolutely. They were like so pure in the, the first albums. And that's why I really like those... This first album, it's the only Absolutely. Linkin Park album that I really like and respect. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's more, but definitely this is the, the I think it's one of the biggest masterpieces yeah. for sure. that i love about this song is that this part it's a pre-chorus right Mm -hmm. and it goes very rhythmic right Mm -hmm. it's a na 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 and the guitar is the most new metal-y kind of deaf tony guitar yes and it's like it does uh, 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 it's like so much more open Mm mm-hmm and so much super simple open yep. different rhythm yeah and i love when that happens love that. like it's so good and like, i feel like it's so hard to make a simple like to combine simple, simple things yeah, that's true. and it's, make it like but this this is the thing that's that's what i'm saying when you are this angry hungry mm-hmm. you just do it mm-hmm. you don't think absolutely those guys were not thinking you know 1, what i mean thousand percent and when you think about it you Probably you makes, overthink it. You probably still make great no, you make songs. good songs. There's you, a lot of, I think that you can pick bands that they're like definitely more, you know, they put more thought in their songs. There's huge bands that they do that mm-hmm. and good for them. Yeah. Great business plan. Yeah. But I like the raw stuff. Right. You know, and you can feel it a lot. Right. And besides that, which is 1000% true, I wanted to point out the lyrics because like the message, like these lyrics, like, this man is uncomfortable you know like there's paranoia there's anxiety it's like a whirlwind inside of my head like you know this guy's struggling and he's just putting it out you know at a thousand miles an hour, an hour you know just with that freaking kick-ass everything message music and combination of lyrics and i don't know i find it really cool in the simplicity of the composition you know totally. bridge here
you know why you love this song? Why? Because the last hook, it's over the bridge. Mm. Right? Mm. And I know that you're a bridge boy. Like I'm a bridge like, boy, yeah, for I, sure. I, I, lo- I love how like how like they structure the, the song is like not like super standard too. Yeah. This is a great song. But I also I put myself into you know as a musician I put myself into the musician perspective too you know and I'm I'm picturing myself at 22 23 coming out with something like this oh, yeah. and I'm like holy moly like this is incredible and I just can't wrap my head around the fact that they just did something like this you know like at such a young age you know like besides the music part because there's a lot of bands that are very talented but you know like put the music with the message and the lyrics you know together and combine it like this I feel like it's so like underrated for from so many people that just listen to the song like ah this is shit you know but then the reason why I'm here with you is because, you know, I kind of like feel bad that you just decided that you don't like Linkin Park because of Mike I, Shinoda. I, it's not that I but, don't like Linkin Park. I love Linkin Park. No. I'm just saying. I understand. I don't like modern Linkin Park at all. I understand. Yeah. And no, I can I, see. I don't it. like Mike Shinoda. I, it has the worst vibe ever. I don't like how he talks to the crowd. Yeah. I don't like a lot of things that he did. I love Chester. I respect Chester. Mm-hmm. The band is great. Mike Shinoda is great too. He's super talented. Yeah, he, he just really like is. His like example, like everyone is gonna hate me for this. Like I love early Dave Grohl, but I don't like Foo Fighters Dave Grohl. I mm-hmm. like a lot of Foo Fighters songs. Mm-hmm. I think he's a genius. Yeah. But I, sometimes I don't like his vibe. It's too much. Too good boy. Mm. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously, we can't like everybody, you know, yeah, like yeah, some yeah. people are just like you vibe with a certain type of person, you know, and that's totally fair. But, you know, at least we understand. I mean, Dave Grohl, undeniable genius, talent, will, like, I, Mike Shinoda, totally, really talented, totally, like it or not. Totally. The band itself, I think it's you know, like, an incredible I, I band. I personally like to like people changing my mind if I have something, if I think about something and you can change my mind easily, you know, like. If, yeah. if you prove something I'm just talking about a vibe no for sure he's for sure. definitely a great songwriter like this band definitely. is humongous yes so once again Young put out the album album blows up they win God knows how many awards whatever they go on tour they did this big tour in Texas in 2003 and who's this guy the, the, the ball guy he's in the band <laughs> yes he's the bass player okay I don't know. Okay. Um, I thought you were joking because no, 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 if Hasman no. doesn't hear the bass in a band, he automatically doesn't no, like I think the band. There's, <laughs> I'm there's, there's, there's not, no, I just don't know. I don't know the faces of the musicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that is strange for me about Linkin Park is that from this era, mm-hmm. all the bands, all the players are very recognizable. Yes. You know, they're like free keeping. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're Linkin right. Linkin Park, I know you, that there's yeah. a guy with headphones and that's it. Yeah. That looks like the drummer. It's true. Like the guitar player looks like the guitar. I agree. Drum. Unless you're like a super fan, you know it's I mean? it's hard to spot like every single like, member because the spotlight has always been on Chester, rightfully so. Yeah. And Mike Shinoda because they're in the front. Well, they have an amazing DJ too. Is they, do, DJ they do. They do. That, that's what I'm saying. Like every, I mean, I feel like every member is a super talented member. Although, I think like Chester is absolute like God status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really hard for the rest of the band to totally. shine when you have Very like... Very big charisma, so you don't... Incredible. So imagine this band, after releasing this album and going on tour, and finding themselves to play in front of a freaking full stadium of people. I remember them saying something about that, like, guys, just a, a couple of years ago, we were where you are right now. And now we're... And now they're here. So we're going to watch the same paper cut live in Texas right when they started go crazy. Let's go. And I love when bands put out like an incredible live performance because that really, you know, like this is 20 years ago. Keep that in mind. 20 years ago. Like so 19. I wanted to point that out because, you know, the audio quality, whatever, you know. So when a band sound good live, totally. it's and back, awesome. Back and then back, too, then, back then, was yeah. not that obvious. Right, so let's do this. Oh, my God, left. 
insane live performance. This was like when they first got big. It's crazy. They sound <laughs> so good. It's insane, dude. Yeah. Harmony. You know when you say like song, I oh, got yeah, goosebumps. You know when you like bands are like, oh yeah, they sound much better now, 20 years later, right? Yeah, I was thinking about the same <laughs> when we, we we used to we did some yeah, some 41, some 41 yeah, the other punk band, mm. the one with the high pitch singer. Um, oh, the Offspring. Offspring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, th this this is great. I mean, I, I was mind blown, and I I have this DVD. Like I bought this DVD when it came out, and I watched it so many times. And every time I watch it, if it's like it's been like a year or so, and I watch like little pieces of it, I always get like super emotional because I'm like, wow. So guys, hopefully we'll we'll slowly get Hazma to appreciate more and more uh, Linkin Park. I appreciate my. I, it's just my Chino that I, think, I like him. <laughs> Maybe we'll do um good, good harmonies though. He's he's very Oh, good. I'm not telling you. Uh, the talent is there. Maybe if there's a show in LA, I'll get meet and greet passes so you can meet <laughs> my Shinoda and sit down for five minutes. He's trying to change me. <laughs> I'm trying One to change. One step it. at a time. Anyway, this was fun. Uh thank you guys Sick for hanging great out. Performance. Great performance, great song, great guys. <sighs> you know so what we sad, should do? Man. We should do the same mm. of a band that I love and you yes, don't like. Absolutely. And we're gonna nice. What band would that be? I have no idea. Like, like two. Please don't. <laughs> we found it. I'm gonna show you some tool. All right. <laughs> Until then, <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> please hit the like button if you guys want us to do more Linkin Park. Please let us know because I want to do more Linkin Park. <laughs> or if you want to do more tool, don't leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Ring the bell, subscribe, and wish you on Twitch at twitch.tv. Slash look to it. Catch you later.